You heard me right, AVSE adventurers, not discovered, invented. I refer to invertebrates as the classification term, the word itself. Who was the person to have classified this extremely diverse group of animals? And based on what characteristics? In today's biology dictionary, the term invertebrate refers to any animal without backbones. In order to understand their story completely, we must go back to the time of Carolus Linnaeus, the father of taxonomy. He introduced the binomial system, giving all organisms a Latin name, which is written based on two hierarchical terms, genus, then species. An example of this can be with the novel Taxinus bambus, Taxinus being the genus name and Bambus being the species name. In addition, Carolus Linnaeus had classified the animals without backbones, the invertebrates essentially, as either insects or worms. Not very accurate, is it? Due to these little inaccuracies, the Linnaean classification system has been modified over the years. And this is where we reach an important character in our story about the guy who invented the invertebrate, a man known as Jean Baptiste de Lamarck. He ignored the linear classification of animals without backbones and separated the arachnids from insects, crustaceans from echinoderms, etc. He published his work in the book Histoire naturelle des animaux sans vertebrates or Natural History of Invertebrates. I hope to acquire the English translation soon. Lamarck was essentially the founder of invertebrate paleontology and his other work included using identification keys similar to today's dichotomous keys in order to catalogue French plants and introducing a theory of evolution via inheritance of acquired traits, although this was kind of wrong. Pretty interesting, isn't it? How simple words can be used to classify the many species on Earth. Who knows, maybe this classification system might even be changed in the future. This video might also teach you that there is so much scope for discovery within the field of biology as well as other sciences. Studying invertebrates, the most common and diverse of all organisms, is really cool and rewarding for this very reason. In order to learn more about this, check out my webinar recording on how to study invertebrates. So I hope you guys were educated by this video. If so, be sure to like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to AVSE so as to not miss new biological content. This is AVSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.